So I am at the LA Convention Center, going to the NBM conference, and um, I am observing that there are several EV charging stations here. And one of the things that I had noticed about EV charging stations is that they are not all created equal. Uh, you might go and find that you're right by a paddle station, or you might be find that the connection is a 220 volt uh, charge so there you got to know which type of charging station you're there at so um, this one does not seem to have a, um, a price tag associated with it um, so it looks like maybe when you plug in it's free so this is the um, CMAX Energy, I believe, and the, this connector looks just like the one that I have um, on the Volt. This is a Fiat, and yep, they have the same kind of connector, so that's good. And But the way it works, there's kind of a protocol that happens here. When uh, your car is fully charged, then um, people will leave a note that could you charge their car next or you know the next guy will say could you charge my car next and that way everybody can get charged because um, usually with these charging stations they are 220 volt uh, 220 or 240 volt um, both connectors and um, and that means that they'll charge in you know a few hours like maybe four hours you could get a charge as opposed to waiting all night, like some of us do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we go. This is Bristol Street. This is Sunflower. This is Nordstrom. So the Nordstrom EV station is going to be somewhere here. The crate and barrel, I believe, is over on this side. So that means that EV station is going to be right over here. So here I am in the South Coast Plaza, the north part, oh, I guess that's the west part of the South Coast Plaza, just below Crate and Barrow. And this is the EV charging station here. We are in lower level aisle K4, and it is a two hour limit on the charging here, 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. I don't know if it's in force. And let's see, it looks like we actually are using um, we do have cars that are EV um, cars that are um, parked here, unlike some of the other places. So here's a guy that's got his um, his uh, thing open, waiting for a charger. And here is a guy who's on the charger. So this is a Ford. Is this the Fusion Energy? I think so. Ford Electric. Kind is this? This is Ford Focus electric, and then this is a Leaf Gray, the Nissan Leaf. This can also do a fast charge. This is an all electric too, zero emission. This one is on the charger, and it's using the same protocol, the um, same charge charger type. And I don't know if this is um, a 120 volt or 240 volt. Um, outlet because they can be both but I imagine at one of these stations it'd be 240 for faster charge and then this one is a Ford and the model is nice looking the model is the hmm, can't tell hmm. okay but this one doesn't have um, They didn't leave their charge door open. So they left a sign that said, uh, your car was finished charging and I moved, I used the charger. So it's this guy. And you can see this is the leaf charging. Okay, great. And I don't know if this is an electric car. So that is a good question. Looks like it is, cause that's the spot, right? But they're not using it and hmm unused 
charge equipment. Not good. This is Clipper Creek. South Coast Plaza, an international destination. So technically there are only two parking spots and there's this striped area that the leaf owner parked in. Which kind of makes sense that you can do that. So we're on the overpass from the west side of the mall, walking over to the east side of the mall, and we're going to check out the Nordstrom um, EV charging station. We came from there, and that's the crate and barrel there, and down below is where we were before. So that's the crate and barrel right there, and we were down below. So here we are at Nordstrom, South Coast Plaza, and there is the valet entrance, so it's in the parking garage. EV charging station. EV charging station. Please drive forward. Okay, so I just spoke to the valet attendant. This is the South Coast Plaza, the um, northeast side of the mall. Good news, it looks like they're putting in additional charging stations soon, or they're working on it. So for these particular charging stations, because there is a two-hour time limit, you can come and self-park, even though it is in the valet area, you can self-park your car. There is no charge to do that, but the valet is free for EV owners because they want to enforce the two-hour time li limit on the charging. So if you leave your key, then they will be able to move the car after two hours, and you don't have to come out to do it yourself and risk a ticket. And uh, so then that actually is pretty good, right? And then so this is a charge point station. So again, I have to see what the terms are on charge point. This is the first time I've encountered a charge point and it looks like they take multiple different kinds of credit cards so it's a little bit different from the blink network um, where you pre-register in advance so um, this is great and there are three stations right here charge point okay and hours of enforcement um, limit two hours maximum per day open monday to sunday 6 a.m to 11 p.m right six um and then scp employees south coast plaza employees Monday to Saturday, 6 a.m. to 9.30 a.m., 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., 9 p.m. to 11 p.m., and then Sunday, 6 to 10.30 a.m., 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. So they're trying to avoid the customer hours. Okay, another n little nugget of information. It's a charge point, but the South Coast Plaza is currently picking up the cost. To unlock a charge point station, you do have to have a card. They've got cards, and they will unlock it for you. So it's a courtesy that the South Coast Plaza is providing for customers right now. Yay! Okay, back from a long day of shopping and look, charging stations are available. Two hour time limit, but you know, we're tired and we want to head home. So, oh well, maybe next time we'll go to Nordstrom. Here we are at the Cal State Long Beach EV charging station. I think there's only one point that you can do this at, one of the parking structures. And we are here, this is the conservatory over there. I think it's the Bob Cole Conservatory. I'll go check the name again. That is the pyramid over there. And so it's the parking structure that's pretty close access to that. And the type of charging station is the, I think is it called J1772? I'll check the number again, but I still have to remember what this is all about. This is a Clipper Creek EV charging station. There's no cost to use it. There's a charge to be in the parking lot. It depends on the day of week and the time of day. Um, but like on the weekend, I think it's $5 and you get a permit at that block there. And then you can use the charging station for free. So to get to this EV charging station, you um, enter through the Palo Verde and Rendina access. Um, that's uh, Atherton up there. So you come in through here and um, there'll be um, a walk over, an overpass between the two parking buildings. See that's the overpass. You go underneath the overpass and to the left into the entry and I'll show you here. underneath the overpass and into the entryway now again to put things into perspective that is the pyramid over there 
and the um, conservatory, the musical conservatory is on the other side, um, on the right of the pyramid. And then you come in through here and take a turn to the right where the parking pyramid dispenser is. And there are the two um, charge units. Okay, here we are at the um, Walmart Center. Um, this is called uh, the City Place in Long Beach, and this is a Blink EV charging station. It says hello, and touch screen to begin. Blink members, to begin, please hold your Blink in card to the symbol below. Not a member, charge as a Blink guest. Blink plus $1 per hour, guest $2 per hour and you can get into blinknetwork.com charge is a blink guest to our power purchase blink guest authorization by scanning the qr code to the right or visiting blinkcode.com okay there are also one two three four five other blink stations located here now i uh, had read something online that is a little bit um confusing about the status of the blink company Apparently there's some sort of bankruptcy issue and some people seem to think that this doesn't work. So I will go and look at those others to see if those people there are charging on their EV, um, charging their EV cars. Right, so this is one of the problems that they had said that it's not being um, enforced, that this is for EV charging only. So here is one, not enforced. This one is on the ground. This one is not being used and not enforced. Nobody's using any of these EV charging stations. This is terrible. This should totally be enforced. So they should put it on the ground that it's for EV charging only, but nobody is paying attention to the fact that these are charging stations. Okay, in out 120 to 208Y, 120 to 208OVC, we use with electric vehicles, ventilation not required. Caution, do not use if, if there's any damage to the EV cable. Warning, risk of explosion. Equipment has arcing or sparking parts that should not be exposed to flammable vapors. Blah, blah, blah. Now the only reason that this is not being used for regular parking is because this one is also double labeled as a handicap parking only. So I'm going to presume that it's for EV charging only, regardless of whether or not you're handicapped. It's a little confusing. So we're going to go to blinknetwork.com. So let's go to the internet. Safari. Okay, Car Charging Group announces acquisition of Eco Totality's Blink in October 10th. And then something about bankruptcy, October 11th. Now I'm standing here looking at something that looks perfectly functional, but I'm reading on the internet that there are some issues with um, A, bankruptcy, um, the company being taken over, and um, something about the home chargers having cables that melted. So because I have a new car and I really am not interested in um, having an issue right now, I am not going to plug into this Blink um, network charging system. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of research before I actually try out the Blink. Okay, I'll, I'll get to it, but I need to um, do some background checking before I go this way. All right. I should add that parking inside this parking structure outside the Walmart is free for the first two hours. Next, we're going to check the library. So this one is 30 minutes free and then $1.75 each 20 minutes thereafter. Okay, and this is not good. It says charging station not yet in service. So this is not available, charging station not yet in service, two, three, four charging stations not yet in service. Fun.
but markings are good though, so she's there, and it's obviously reserved for EV charging. <laughs> 